Hillbilly Matthias. Hillbilly Matthias. When he's thirsty and he doesn't have any water, he will drink his own water. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Nine Strange Items That Brian Found on Amazon. That's right, Brian went on Amazon and he went to find the strangest things he could find so that he could show me and you guys could get my real reaction looking at some of these strange items. So I'm super stoked because that means I'm gonna tell you guys whether you should buy it or don't pass. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say deny it. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you click that bell icon to get notified of future uploads so you don't miss it, because I comment back within the first 30 minutes of every video, and you know what else I do? I live stream, and I show you guys exclusive things that don't actually end up in videos, and I'm kind of excited about that. It's actually a super fun thing to do, so make sure you join in by clicking that bell icon. Lots, lot, lots of claws. <laughs> Accoutrements giant lobster claws currently unavailable these 14 and a half long latex claws slip on over your hands like gloves and instantly make you more lobstery accoutrements this company right here mm -hmm. this company right here they make I see them pass by my desk all day every day in all of these Amazon videos how are they a business when they make products that are just like no one would want them they're all just gags currently unavailable bro they're selling out either that or like no one bought them so they just threw them all away look at this 62 customer reviews four and a half stars that's incredible i'm gonna have to look at some of these reviews the night breeze is cool on my bony armor Ugh, what i prowl the neighborhood by night lobster man evil flees in the face of my mighty pincers the streets are safe the night breeze is cool on my bony armor i sleep in a tide pool by day protected by vigilant trigger fish I don't like this review, I'm moving on. Day 245. The lobsters still do not know that I am human. They're beginning to accept me into their society. Entries are difficult to make with these giant lobster claws on my hands. He's trying to write a diary entry with lobster claws. That's what he's doing. What a weirdo. I always yearned for a way to be closer to my pet lobsters. <gasps> They would always scurry away from my freakish human hands. <laughs> freakish human hands. I stumbled upon this product by accident and was a bit skeptical at first, but purchased them anyways. I cannot fully describe how amazing these lobster claws are. Man, these people are weird, dude. I can't wait to be one of them. Add to... Magic! <laughs> Boom, I knew I had that magic. That sweet, sweet magic to make <laughs> unavailable product anyways. I said ship. Didn't sound like you said ship. Really? <laughs> I said ship, people. Ship. The other word doesn't work in that context. In that sentence, it works. Actually, it works. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be pervs. Yeah. Pervert lobster man. Giant lobster claws. Archie McPhee. That's dope, dude. Nice name. McPhee. Hello, McPhee. <laughs> I meant to squeak my voice, but it didn't work. What am I supposed to get out of this? Ooh, they're all dusty and weird inside. Okay, Brian, come here. What? We have to see what kind of uses these have. Stop. No, don't pick my nose with it. Stop, <laughs> I Brian. I can't just sit here and let you stick a claw in my nose. <laughs> okay, I'll put it in your ear. <laughs> Stop it. Brian! Brian, trust the claw. I can't trust, trust the claw. Trust the claw. Come on, dude! I have to know Jeez. if this is a good nose picker. See, it works. Ow. <laughs> what? Did, I didn't do anything to your neck. Yeah, I jolted like. <laughs> Ew, dude, my hands have stuff all over them. Yeah, go out. That is a trash it. I don't like creepy crawlies. That's not a creepy crawly, but you know what I mean. Hillbilly guy costume. <laughs> should have known, dude. I should have known there was a costume coming. T-shirt. T T-shirt. Costume T T-shirt. What's a T T-shirt, Brian? Stop it, you inappropriate, restricted YouTuber. Ew, gross. Do you think it'll actually look like I'm wearing overalls? I don't know, I'm kind of curious though. Pick your size from the drop down menu. Size, extra large, no drop down menu. <laughs> I literally cannot do that. Great gift idea, satisfaction guaranteed. Oh sweet, they're guaranteeing my satisfaction. With the product or just with anything? What if I want my, gar my satisfaction guaranteed with my new car? Do can he do that too? That's a boring joke. That's a big boo. I bought this to wear to the Coca-Cola 600 
What? Funny review. He bought this to, wear, to take to a NASCAR You just started race. laughing before it was funny. <laughs> what? I bought this to wear to the Coca-Cola 600 race last weekend. It was a hot day, but I was pretty comfortable in the t-shirt. It is made of polyester, but not a problem. I wore jeans that were very close in color to the overalls and got a lot of stares and a lot of compliments. It was only when people realized it was a t-shirt. It's hard to tell unless you're close up. They were really impressed. It's really easy to press, impress people that are going to those NASCAR events, evidently. Ooh, dude, that's a huge community. You're about to shake up right now. <laughs> Guys, give this video a like if I ever get you shook. <laughs> You were like, mm, Matthias got me angry. Cute designer in the idea. Love the last. Ma material is a little different, not your regular t-shirt cotton. Time to find out in reality. Magic. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, oh, I was feeling the tag. I was like, it feels like paper. <laughs> this does feel weird. It's one of those t-shirts that's been printed on. So it's like all, all over print. The thing that I don't like is the stains no. in the back. Yeah. That's just gross. You, you didn't see the, the, the tattoos. Oh gosh, there's tattoos? Oh yeah, there are tattoos. Howdy y'all, I'm Hill Billy Matthias. I'm Matthias the Billy. I'm Hill the Hill Matthias. Hill Thias. Hill Thias. Mathil Billy? Mathil Billy. Mathil Billy. <laughs> My Phil Billy, dude. He calls me my Phil Billy. I'm a Phil Billy. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I guess I'd have to rate this product a cash it. Look our way. Air dancer, tube man, fly guy, puppet complete set. 20 feet. 20 feet. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> It's just like the, the difference between these two. He's like, hey, what's up, guy? What's up? Hey, I'm ready to party. Hey! <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? Hey! First time was funny, second time. Hey! Hey! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So it comes with this? It comes with one air dancer attached. Wow, dude. Wow. That's cool. $269? Oh, mm. 20 feet tall. 20 feet. Dang, that you're right. That's like as tall as our building. Oh, dang. 20 feet. Oh, wow. Ooh. No, it's not. The team edge space is about a 25 foot ceiling? Tripping. No, it's not. It cannot be. I like this thing. Got it as a gift today. It is very noisy and the fan is three speeds. But when you change the speed, you cannot hear the difference. The motor is really noisy. I mean, you'd think. Why would it have to be really noisy? Ooh, for air. What did you just do? Lower. <laughs> Brian, Brian. <laughs> I knew that was gonna come back and bite me in the butt. Too, like, Brian literally was like, why does it have to be noisy? Ooh, for air. <laughs> That's literally what he just did to me. Ooh, for air. What the heck are you talking about, dude? Are you out of it? I'm into it right now, man. No, this you out of it, dude. hyper focused. You out of it, bro. Coffee's like messing with your brain waves, dude. dude. All right, guys. Do you guys want to see this in a future video? Because we didn't buy it for, for the fact that it's $269. For the more expensive products, we want to know that you guys are interested. We want to know that you guys are interested. And the way we gauge that is by clicking that like button, right? And that will let us know that you're interested in seeing us goof around with this thing. Let's see if it actually is as big as the Team Edge space. Well, let's see if it fits in the Team Edge space. So this product's on layaway. <laughs> Island Dogs Belt Buckle Flask. Five ounce in size, attached screw top, great gift item, novelty flask. I don't want to even give people the wrong impression when I try to drink out of this thing. But it is a gag gift for our end of year stay up all night and ship for work. People loved it. Actually fill it up too and it didn't leak. A little awkward to actually wear. And if you have a belly, <laughs> don't try it. I would be hard pressed to find someone that has a belt buckle flask that doesn't have a belly. Visceral fat people, alcohol gives you visceral fat. It's just the way it is. It makes you have a belly. I feel cooler owning this. <laughs> It was super cheap and works really well. Also helps cut down the on the bar tab. This guy's just going to the bar, but like drinking out of his belt buckle. Fun product, but the lid could have a plastic washer around the cap to keep the bar across the top from rattling. Other than sounding like I'm wearing a spurs every time I take a step, this flask lives up to expectations. You know, I can understand it if you're taking a camping trip and you want a little sip sip, you know what I'm saying, with your friends, right? But like a belt buckle flask? Ooh. It's a, no, it's a gag gift, supposedly. Is it a gag gift, though? Some people are, like, legit asking, how many ounces does it hold? Three ounces. Oh. Okay, good. That's what I need to know. That's what it takes to make my, my chuki mama. That's a sweet drink. That's a sweet drink. It's time for my chuki mama. Wow, that's impressive. <sighs> chuki mama. All right, well, let's do it, dude. Add to cart. Chuki mama! Chuki mama! 
Belt buckle flask, wow, that's tiny. A lot, oh, look. So here's what's up. People are gonna get the wrong impression for real. You see what I'm saying? Oh no, you can take it out. Oh, thank goodness. So you can take it out, but still leave your belt on. Mm. Whew, thank goodness, dude. Ugh. I mean, it's a flask, guys. Okay, so for this, I don't know, dude. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Squeeze slime pig. What? Sold individually. Oh, good to know. <laughs> in case I want to buy more than one. Why would anyone want to buy even one in the first place? Ah, oh, 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 I just cringed. I just cringed. You saw it. Everyone saw it. Brian, you saw it. You see me cringe, dude. You see me cringe. You see me cringe. I just cringe. You saw it. Everyone saw it. Brian, you saw it. You see me cringe. This is really gross. This is just like, why though? I just, I need to know why. Oh, so gross and so much fun. This funny little squeeze slime pig has slime inside so that when you squeeze it, the slime oozes out of its nose. Squeeze again and the slime is sucked back up the nose. Slime comes in a separate little bag so your squeeze slime pig won't arrive messy. <laughs> I hate it. Read the description closer. It is small. I thought it would be bigger for the $6 price tag. It's the size of a 25 cent Happy Meal toy. Happy Meals? You guys, you remember that, dude? You guys remember Happy Meals? Maybe you guys are still eating Happy Meals. I don't judge. The type of thing you get for 10 tickets at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh well. It would probably cost me more to return. Who's writing this review? It's surprisingly adept, yet they're talking about all these kids' things. I would rather go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it sucks, just like it's supposed to. It's gross, but I love it. I mean, who wouldn't love a pig that sucks up its own snotty goo? Life is happy with this pig around. Slime is so watery that it just runs out of the pig, leaving a sticky mess. Pig cannot suck it back in. It was a good idea, but lacking in execution. All right, well, we're gonna have to see how much this pig does suck at the cart. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. <laughs> Look at this, okay. This, it's definitely weird. Uh, just why though? I just don't understand, like, what? Wh Who are you? What is your life like? <laughs> what is your life like when you wake up and you're like, you know today? I'm gonna make a pig, a little squishy pig that sucks up its own snot. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm gonna get famous doing it too. Oh, dude, what the heck is this? Ew, it feels wet outside of the bag. Here's what it says to do. It says to get this little puppy, squeeze him out. Oh, this is gonna, wait, this is gonna stain. You guys can't even see the vibrance of this pink right now. It's like way even more vibrant in real life than it is. Oh, it, like some stayed in there. Here we go. I'm afraid to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Oh. 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 There you go. Oh. Can I just show you what this looks up, like up close? Oh. Oh. Why, dude? Dude, yeah. the sounds it makes. Hey, look, you're the hillbilly with the pig. Oink, oink. Ew, dude. <laughs> What was it? Mathil Billy. Mathil Billy. Mathil Billy. I don't yuck, like this, dude. It's a no no, dude. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Y'all on Twitter? Go follow Hillthias. Mathai Billy. And vote. Which one do you think I should be called as a Hillbilly Mathias? Is it Mathai Billy or Hillthias? I'll tweet out a poll and you go vote on my Twitter, okay? Here's my handle. Go check it out. Who am I? I need to know. I need to know. LED hat, ultra bright lights, unisex, baseball cap. Do, do they really need to put unisex? Maybe because pe men and women have different head sizes and not necessarily fashion. Only for men! Angling? The heck is angling? Angling is a sport or pastime of fishing with a rod and line. And you just say fishing, you pervs. I, I, I actually don't mind that. It's kind of cool. Unless it has like big bulky thing somewhere in the hat. You know what I mean? And that's where I'm kind of apprehensive about buying it. Light up brim, lighting methods, blah, blah, blah. Easy on, off, swish, 
concealed in the brim. I'm just afraid there's gonna be this big bulky, bulky like battery pack, you know what I'm saying? What fun this hat is. Used it for Halloween at a trunk or treat. What is a trunk or treat? Oh, that's where you do trick or treats and trunks in the parking lot? Mm -hmm. That's a hillbilly style right there, let me tell you right there. I ain't walking around everyone's house. What I'm doing is looking in their trunks and being like, what is that, a dead body in there? Can I take that in my bucket? Stayed on all night with no headaches or any other issues. It's actually comfortable. Not sure what else I would use it for. Maybe I'll use it to read in bed. <laughs> Why not just turn the lights on? I wouldn't even give this one star if it were possible. Purchased for a dance fitness event and got the blue. The light was choppy and you could barely even see it in my bathroom. That is no windows and the door was shut. So beyond disappointed that, what, that what? So beyond disappointed that, great hat. LED light points forward, but minimal glare. Didn't want to lose kid at night. Uh, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Add to cart. Oh, that is flat. What happened to this hat, dude? Just got flattened in shipping. New, made in China. I don't know, when they put new in there, it makes me hesitant that it's actually new. It's new. I mean, it, it should be assumed that products are new. There's like already threads coming loose and stuff like that. Although I do like the fact that there's no battery Oh wait, it, it is, it is. There's like a little chunky thing right here. Oh, what? That's pretty light. You look like such a doofus. <laughs> what is the definition of a doofus? It's uh, actually derogatory. Is it really? Yeah, okay. so you probably shouldn't say that. Okay. Got him. Oh. <laughs> doofus, a stupid person. <laughs> Doofus, a stupid person. I mean, this hat ain't all bad. It, the fit is good. There, it's just solid. Tech thighs. See, I can do it like this, dude, and be like, hey, what's up, what's up? How you doing, how you doing? Oh, I'm techie. Oh, that's right, you need to know that. Uh. Kinda wanna like, be a little flashy, but still be cool. Be like, hey, I'm flashy, but who cares about it? Uh, I say this is a buy it, honestly. Green LED light up musical flashing tambourine. Double A battery, okay, nine to five, okay, great for all ages. That is wrong. I don't want my kid having a tambourine until they live in their own house. Too loud, dude, too loud. Put on a spectacular music shoe with this fun and exciting green flashing tambourine. Oh, it really does say shoe. Yeah, it says shoe. You thought I was just misreading yeah. it? I mean, to be fair, I misread a lot. <laughs> Light up any occasion and keep it musical. <laughs> Somewhat interesting for about five minutes. Flashes on and off, several set patterns. Gets boring easily. It's a tambourine. I bought three of these for my cousin's children. They were sufficient in annoying their parents. Oh, I told you. Mission accomplished. It works good, but it's very fragile for kids. It broke on the third day of use. Oh, should we see how fragile it actually is? Magic. Oh. Oh, stop. Oh, that is so loud. Oh, I thought it was gonna go on beat. It just flashes. What a wasted opportunity. Hillbilly Matthias. Hillbilly Matthias. Play me some tangerine. When he's thirsty and he doesn't have any water, he will drink his own water that he finds. <laughs> It stopped halfway through, dude. And I didn't even know. I didn't know it stopped. And I was just playing up here like a fool in front of thousands and thousands of people. Everyone was waiting to see this thing light up. And no, no, it didn't light up. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm gonna have a seizure. It's flashing like 10 times faster than you guys can see because that camera's only 30 frames per second and this is flashing like 90 frames per second. That's pretty durable. I'll say that's a good one. I say that's a buy it. Sleep Well Pro Adjustable Stop Snoring Chin Strap. What? <laughs> a chin strap? Come on, bro. Stop, this is not real. People snore because they don't have proper pass through of septums? air. Yeah, they don't have good septums. They have deviated septum, septums and all that stuff, so opening the mouth allows them to breathe. If you shut the mouth, you'll suffocate them. 
And by the way, it's the nose that makes the snoring sound. The mouth just amplifies it. Engineered to provide instant relief while you sleep. Can you imagine sleeping with that thing on your face? Finally, after trying several different straps, I found the one. And it's funny because it's the one that got the lowest reviews. After trying the strap for a couple weeks, it appears to be working for me. It does not completely stop my snoring. Told you. <laughs> but quiets it down to something less than a roaring lawnmower. I told you that's how it worked. Add to cart. Sleep well. So how does this work now? Here we go. There's a strap. There's another strap. <laughs> Ew, get out of your mouth. <laughs> okay, fine. I have to take off the hat. <laughs> <laughs> your lips. <laughs> I can still talk if I want to. <laughs> This is really stupid. <laughs> it just looks so weird because your chin's so far down here, but your lips are <laughs> way up there. How come she has it so low? It doesn't make any sense. Or do you have it the wrong way? <laughs> Why does it look like my face is just being squished? I hate this product. No. Before the next couple of products, if you're new here, make sure you click that big ol' subscribe button below this video because I make videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and you're gonna wanna see those in your sub box. Next product. Mm, giant vomit. Oh, gross out your friends in a really big way. Oh, that is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Oh my gosh, that is so gross. This thing is giving me a headache, dude. I think it's super tight. Oh. You know what we gotta do with this, right? We gotta like trick some people. Look, they stapled the vomit down. They stapled it with staples. All right, let's go mess with some people. All right, so I'm gonna throw this down on the table. I'm gonna, I don't know who's in J. Fred's office right now, but I'm gonna try and get a reaction. I'm just curious, I don't know what this mess is. I don't know, is Paul here? Can you, what, did you throw up? There it is, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Dang it, dude! <laughs> Bobby's too good, dude! Bobby's too good! <laughs> First wow, you... that's super accurate. I like the staple, and someone swallowed a staple. <laughs> Look at that. I mentioned that, no, I think these staples were meant to like staple it to the paper or the package that it was in. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. There you go, dude. This guy's a prankster. Thanks. Just don't put it in any YouTube videos before this one goes live. Okay, sure. <laughs> what do you think that is? It's a buy or a pass it? You know what? I'd probably buy it. I'd probably get someone. <laughs> Guys, make sure you check out this 10 strange as seen on TV products. You can see I have that little that little gun there. Yeah, that thing's supposed to go in your ear. Also, 10 strange Amazon items. That one is very weird too because that blob was supposed to clean things. Not even joking. All right, guys, if you're interested, click those and I'll see you over there. High five.